It's that time again. Sea Line 2017.3 is out. So let's take a look at what's new. If you're on a Mac or Linux, we've integrated Valgrind Memcheck for detecting a whole array of memory errors at runtime. You'll need to have Valgrind installed, and if it hasn't already been detected, put the path to the executable into this field in the settings. You can also tweak the analysis options if you like, or add suppression files. Now to use it, simply run with Valgrind, either from the Run menu, or using this new dedicated launch icon. Simply switch to the Valgrind tab to see the results. If you're on a Mac, as here, you will get a bit of noise coming from the system, even when there are no leaks in your code, so do be aware of that. But let's introduce a deliberate leak to see what happens. So here we're allocating memory that we're never freeing. Now if we run that again, and here we'll use the rerun icon, we now see some real problems reported. And if we click on the bottom of this stack, we're taken straight to the line that caused it. Well, this is just a first step, and in future release cycles, we'll be looking at further integrations with other analysis tools. Improvements to C++ language support are an important part of every release. This time we've overhauled two big areas of our code at the center of a substantial number of issues. That's list initialization and name lookup. There are far too many to cover here in detail, but all of the examples shown here previously had issues resolving, but are now handled correctly. And similarly, these ones now do report actual errors where they didn't before. We also now handle the preprocessor directive counter correctly. as well as C++11 friend declarations, and many other fixes. For C++17, we're still working on the full support for all the new language features. In the meantime, we've added a workaround that will disable analysis for features not yet supported, to avoid many false positives. We now support includes inside namespaces. This is a technique used by few libraries, including, up until recently, Juice which is a popular framework for pro audio apps and plugins. The latest release of Juice, 5.2, has actually moved away from this technique, but it's worth noting that it also now includes a CMake exporter directly in ProJuicer, making it easy to use with CLine. See the blog post for a demo. And we've refined the color scheme configuration for C and C++, allowing you to use a different format for function declarations than function calls. And if your project has multiple entry points in different targets, we now have a quicker way of launching them without having to manually switch targets with these gutter icons. You can now generate definitions for function templates. And we've added a new intention action that will flip the logic in an if else construct. There's some big changes in toolchain support in this release. First off, we now support multiple toolchain configurations. You can create as many additional named configurations as you like, and even use multiple toolchains within a single project. And when you come to set your current target, a very common operation is to just change the build type, from debug to release, for example. Well, you can now do that in one step straight from the target config menu. And if you have multiple toolchains configured, you can select between them as well. As part of our strategy to make CLine the IDE for native coding, in this release, we're introducing support for Kotlin native via a plugin. We've updated the bundled versions of GDB and LLDB to 8 and 5 respectively, and CMake to 3.9. And if you use our experimental MSVC support, we further extended it by supporting a number of Microsoft extensions, such as UUID of. For this release, Boost Test joins our lineup of supported test frameworks. This gives it full support on our test runner when used with the new Boost Test configuration template. As usual, the test results are displayed in a hierarchical summary, and you can click through to the details. 
and all test frameworks now benefit from new gutter icons for running a particular test. These icons correspond to the ones for running a specific main entry point that we mentioned earlier. Version control support continues to be refined with a number of new features. And as usual, there are plenty more tweaks here and there. The best way to find out more is to try C-Line for yourself. If you haven't done so already, grab a 30-day free trial from the website and give it a go now.